All right, guys. So I'm here again in another video. Today we're gonna be working on this mini right here. It's been a long while since I make a video. It's way too cold now. Today it's cold. I got out here, my freaking hands are freezing already. So let me just get to it. Uh, hopefully I can stay till the end of this video because it's freaking cold. So anyways, today I have this thing right here. It's a headlight restoration kit from Seracoat. Um, I've seen a couple YouTubers use it. it seems to be good. And the beauty about this one is that um, you don't need no power tools for it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be repairing. These mini headlights, I got them fairly new. I don't know what's going on here, but um, if you can see the clear coat is like, it's chipping. So it's probably was just, the clear coat is no good on it. So it's not like a hazing headlight, like, it's clear the headlight is still clear it's just that the, the, the clear coat over is chipping let me show you what um a hazen headlight look like it look foggy like this thing is foggy and this one was recently changed so if i got time i might just go over this one but uh yeah for mine it's just the clear coat so i'm gonna open this package right here and i'll show you what's inside of it all right guys so I'm sitting in the car right now. It's freaking cold outside. So I'll show you what came inside the package. So we have right here. Um there's some in general instruction on here. You know what to do. It's a three-step um restoration kit. So the first one right here, you basically cleaning the headlight oxidation, and then the, the other one is like prep surface is sanding basically, and the other side is uh you coat it. So I'm gonna show you what the kit comes with. So I think this is the yeah this is the oxidation thingy and it's a bunch of them in there so it's like i think around eight and this whole package right here is for only one headlight it's really dark in here there's nothing much i can do about that right now because i'm cold so yeah so everything here is just for one pair of headlights so I don't know if I'm gonna need to use the whole thing, seeing that my headlight is not that bad. I'm not gonna be doing too much sanding. I'm just trying to get the clear coat off and that's about it. And then recoating it. And this right here is the um, the ceramic coat. So you put this on there after you're done. And you got this little sanding thing with a couple of sandpaper in there. Let me see what they got in here. Hold on one second. Let's see. Let's see that. Hopefully, you can fall. Hopefully you can see me too, but yeah. Got this little thing right here. This is what you're gonna be using to sand, sand with whatnot. So you don't really need a a drill or anything like that. You rip this off, put another one on there. Uh, I got like um, I got four pieces of uh, sandpaper right here. I got two thousand and three thousand. Uh, I was thinking to just go ahead and just do three thousand, but um, I think I might just do everything. Yeah. So four pieces of sandpaper. This thingy, oxidation, and the clear coat. Well, this is gonna be a ceramic coat, but it's like a clear coat, and a few gloves or whatnot. So that's it. So I'm gonna go outside, and yeah, I got a spray bucket right here. I have a uh, shoot, it's leaking. Dang. I gotta open this thing and fix it. But, anyways, yeah, this bottle right here, you just have um, water and um. I put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in there. So I'm basically gonna be wet sanding the headlights versus like dry sanding it. So yeah, I'm gonna get that together and then we'll go outside. All right guys, it took me a while to find you guys a nice setup. So okay, that's what we're gonna be working with for now. Shoot. It's cold as hell. So this is the oxidation. Oh, one more thing. One good thing about the mini, um, on regular cars you would have to like tape this off, but with the mini, once you lift it up, basically expose the headlight. So I'm gonna just pop it up now. Voila. So I'm just gonna wipe it down. We got the gloves here. Just gonna slap it on. Even the gloves are cold. This thing's crazy. 
Yeah, might want to use those and use this kind of stuff because I know serial coats are really strong. I used the uh, your trim coat before and it basically let your um the trim around the car looks brand new. You know the mini got a lot of plastic trim so it's a good option if you're trying to you know clean up the trims. And I'm just gonna wipe it off. wipe I don't even know if it's supposed to make it dry but um once you clean it off right. I'm gonna just spray the headlights with some water some the water and I'm gonna just start sanding I'm gonna try to like keep it in one motion so Alright guys, so I sanded a lot, um, if you can look at it you see it's a little bit easy, it's still got a little bit of pitting right here, I gotta sand it more, but I was noticing something when I was sanding this damn thing, so if you look around the corner you see all those little white stuff around the corner right here, yeah, that's the water that I sprayed on it, that's ice, so it's freezing <laughs> when I spray it on there. So it's crazy my fingers are freezing so I don't know if that's doing me any good right now because if you look on top of this right here you see all those little cracking on there that's basically the water turning ice so huh. I don't know if it's a smart idea to keep going because if I spray the water and it's turning ice this thing is just slipping because this sandpaper is so fine it's not getting deep into it like just yet I have ways to go because the clear coat is still on there I might have to see if I can get some more aggressive sandpaper too because this thing start me out at 2000 I might need a 1500 or something like that so huh, I'm gonna stop here for right now because this this not doing me no good at all I'm gonna pick this thing up another day or tomorrow so alright guys all right i'm back at it again i'm working on these headlights from the last time and what i ended up doing is uh i bought me some 800 grit sandpaper sand the headlights again this one is horrible though i don't know i try my best to sand out the whole thing but it's pretty smooth there's still some pitting in there but i, I feel like it's inside the headlight not outside because i tried like crazy and this one right here, like you got some scratches here. I don't know, man. Or maybe I need to get deeper in there. I might just leave this one and try to sand it some more. But this one looks pretty good. It's not the best, but... I think I should have gotten some 500 grit sandpaper and then use the 800, then go up to the 2000. So I don't know what I want to do yet. <laughs> The last thing I want to do is put the final coat on the headlight and then they don't look good, you know what I mean? So, I'm just stuck at a crossroad right now. They still look horrible. Uh. 
right so i'm gonna see what i come up with and then i get back to you guys all right guys so i'm finished sanding these headlights now i think i can live with what the condition is it's i'm good man yeah all right man yeah it's still pretty rough because uh let's see give me a second there yeah so i used i had some some old sandpaper that i used to sand them down a little bit more it's a little rougher than i would like but um i had no more choice right now i didn't want to run out so i used what i had and i go back over it with the 800 if you look you can see it's still not perfect but i'm just gonna live with it it's gonna look a lot better than it was hopefully so now i'm just drying the headlights completely and i'm gonna put the ceramic coat on it so this is the final step right here yeah step three ceramic coat so i'm gonna put these gloves on and i'm gonna wipe it over it and it should like have them nice and shiny i mean at this step you could use i think you can just clear coat them if you want i don't know if they have any special clear coat for headlights but i've seen people use clear coat on them because this one had, had a clear coat on it i think but i pretty much sand most of it off if not all of it I'm not quite sure it's kind of difficult because it's still got a little bit of pitting in there i can't get it out so i'm just gonna live with it so i'm gonna just pop this gloves on real quick i'm just gonna pull this thing out there you go this thing is pretty smug bad jeez try to use gloves with this thing if you ever try to use it but let me just pass it over it yeah now they look good as new get the other side also Make sure you give it a good coverage on heavy wheel. I'm just gonna go the other way now. I'm assuming that the mini headlight is going to be so much easier to do than any other car seeing that you don't have to tape it up because this is not something you want to touch your paint either I don't know it should work like a ceramic coating but I don't know if it is so alright so yep I'm gonna try to flip it open and then try to like go over it again. This thing smells bad. Jeez. God damn. Just making sure that it's fully covered. <coughs> go back over this one again. Okay, so that's what they look like now after everything is done take this gloves off so it didn't turn out too bad after you put the clear coat over it it's pretty much brand new but this one still got a little bit of imperfection in there like in the corner right there but you know that's something i'm just gonna have to live with so that's it yeah 
and I just give the car a little wash I kind of spray the water because when I was sanding it it was like all over the place so I just spray the engine bay a little bit with a with a power washer though you never want to spray your engine bay with a hose not good especially because I got the ECU right here so I try to avoid that and avoid the intake and stuff like that I just blow it out so I'm just gonna run the car let it get warm and it's gonna burn off burn off the water and that's it so yeah so I'm gonna try to be try to update you guys soon it's been a while since I made a video though but um Fiat in the back a boy just sitting over there and the battery is done so I'm gonna have to put a new battery in there we've been sitting for so long the battery just went out completely I try to like you know I'm trickle charge it that didn't work out either so yeah but that's it for you now guys stay tuned